So guys, if you haven't repented to Lord Jesus Christ yet, I really strongly suggest you do. It um, is extremely important for you to apologize for the sins that you brought into this world. I did it. Everyone has done it. And it's okay. Don't feel bad about those sins. But the sins are definitely was what's caused a lot of the problems that we have. So Jesus is very loving. He's very uh, forgiving. But you do have to admit faults. And you do have to uh, suck up your pride. And you do have to, uh, you know, get on your hands and knees and pray to him and tell him uh, you repent of your sins, including the ones you don't remember, um, and that you love him. Please read his Bible. There's over 300 prophecies that have all come true. We are on the last prophecies, unfortunately. And so there isn't a whole lot of time left. I mean, we have famine. We have pestilence, as we all know, with the COVID. The COVID stuff. That's been lots of fun. Um, we have earthquakes. We have, we have it all, guys. We have it all. And, uh, you know, you need to do your research. God says that many people will um, fall from a lack of knowledge. Um, and if any of you read Matthew 7, 21 through 23, a lot of people are going to be going, you know, to God saying, you know, didn't I cast out demons? Didn't I, you know, um, love you? Didn't I, you know, uh, fight for you? Did, didn't, wasn't I a part of, uh, you know, being a good person and did good things in your name? And Jesus is going to say, I never knew you. And it's only because a lot of people think that they can sin and have one foot in sin and have the other foot, you know, in righteousness. But God can't have anything to do with sin. So please, 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 lukewarms, Christians, you know, I'm talking to you. Please repent. Please read the gospel. Please read the Bible. Do some prophecy studying. This is important. This world is not going to make it. That's the reality of it. Our generation has trashed our earth. Our generation is the only generation to have 90% of what we have. And we don't know the outcome of that. So be kind. Love one another. Help each other out right now. Because we really need to help one another out. If you have extra extra anything extra clothes extra food um, even if you have a little bit of extra money donate it to all the people out there who need it um, you can be a lifesaver you can help others but you can't do it without the Holy Spirit you can't do it without the love of God and let me tell you the love of God is a love that you've all been chasing after you've been chasing after this love and you can't find it through other human beings it is a you know we are a very loving humble um non-judgmental uh group of people we're not religious we don't care about big beautiful churches we're humble people we don't need to be rich we don't want to be rich because the rich don't make it into heaven um we are just generally good people who try to spread kindness and love but unfortunately, you know, there's a lot of people with anger and hate and, uh, you know, there's a lot of atheists out there who just are straight lazy and don't want to learn anything. But if you learn world history, world of religion, um, you will know the Bible and you should know the Bible. It's worth reading one book. You can get a King James Version. You can study it. You can go to... Uh, I like to go to a, a Seventh-day Adventist church because they will teach you the prophecies. I'm not saying that I believe in uh, everything that they say, you know, was, but 90% of it I do. You know, I don't personally believe that S Sunday law is the mark of the beast, but I could be wrong. And if I am, I am, but I'm not going to tell I'm not going to tell people, you know, Sunday law is the mark of the beast because it's blood on my hands if it's not. And that's something they got from someone who lived in the 18th century. 
And uh, as you know, technology now is growing rapidly and the devil, uh, the only thing he's ever made in this earth was technology. So of course he's going to use his technology because that's his baby. He wants to be like the most high. And so what is he going to do? He's going to create something uh, to attack God's creation. But uh, we've got almost 8 billion people here on earth. You know, it's, it's a lot of people, guys. Um, I know you should plan for your future. You should live your life. But do it respectfully. Do it with kindness and love. And uh, don't be judgmental. Especially to those who are still sinners, who haven't repent. Encourage that they do and that they turn into good people. Jesus Christ died for you guys. He loves you. There's plenty of scientific proof to that. There's plenty of uh, world history to prove to that. Um, but you got to be willing to do it. You got to meet him. You got to meet God 50 50. And if you're really one of these people who thinks you can just pray a couple times a week and think that you're just going to walk into heaven, it doesn't quite work that way. But um, please stay away from religion and focus on the Holy Bible, focus on prayer, focus on the love of Jesus Christ, and know that there's a lot of good Christians out there who want to help you, and we will help you. Um, as a healthcare worker, you know, I'm doing everything I can to, to, to save patients and get them home safe to their families from this disease. But, um, you know, I, I might be able to help you with your health problems, but I can't help you with your soul problems. The only, only one that can help you with anything is Jesus Christ. If you have a drug addiction, trust me, we've all been there. We've all had drug addictions one time or another in our lives. Don't feel ashamed of these things. Don't feel ashamed of your sins because we all had the sins, all of us, all of us. And if you're one of these people like, oh, I haven't sinned. I haven't sinned in years. Well, that's not true. Okay. You just don't know the, you don't know the prophecies. You don't know Bible verses. You don't know the Bible and you don't know what sin is. So don't be ashamed of it. Uh, go to God, be humble, apologize, know that you did wrong, but that you are willing to, to, to be righteous. And I'll tell you the love that God will give you is, is unbelievable guys. It's, it's, it's the best love that you're ever, ever going to have. And I really want to see my brothers and sisters be called back so that you guys can, uh, repent of your sins so you can get a relationship with Jesus Christ because it's such a beautiful relationship and it's so amazing and it's so powerful. And for those that are just said, no, I don't want to do it. Um, you know, there will come a time where God is not going to knock on your door anymore. Okay. At some point he will continue to let you to be blind and let you listen to the devil. And he will let you believe in whatever it is you want to believe in because we have free will. Okay. These things you, you hear, you call them conspiracy theories, but they're not conspiracy theories, guys. They're the truth. They're factual. And, uh, I strongly suggest you study, you learn, you put the effort in. You don't need to watch Netflix all the time. You don't need to take selfies all the time. You don't need to do half of the, the things that we do to, um, you know, distract us. And what you need to do is study, educate your mind, educate, educate yourself so you can educate your children because they are growing up in a very evil and destructive world. And you, we need to empower our children. We need to empower them, educate them, and get them to, to see the truth. And, and they need to know the Holy Bible. Jesus died for all of us, all of us, okay? So um, anyone who says that, and that he that Jesus only died for the black Israelites. Black Israelites just haven't read the Bible or they've read bits and pieces of it and pasted it together. Same with a lot of these churches who are just out to make money. Um, same with the Catholic Church. Don't even get me started there. But there are good people here. You guys have God in your heart. So please repent. Please repent. Give yourself to the Lord. Let him teach you. You are 
the temple of God. Remember that you are the temple of God and Jesus is your high priest and he will answer all of your questions and he will be there for you and you will find a love that you've never found before. And I'm telling you guys, this is the final hour, whether you like it or not. Okay, we might get over this pandemic, we might not, but we still have a whole lot of other issues that we're having to deal with, like from starvation, dehydration, floods, uh, all kinds of, of things that are going on. You know, uh, we're using chemicals that we don't even know what do what, what they're doing to us. Women are changing the way that they look via plastic surgery, and it's sad. Nobody seems to be happy in their own skin, and it's because they're sad and depressed, and they're letting the devil completely control them and make them feel that they're not good enough. You guys are good enough. I don't have any makeup on right now because I want to show you guys that I trust and love the Lord the way that he made me, and there's nothing wrong with wearing makeup. If you want to wear makeup, wear makeup, but I'm making a point that I feel good in my skin, and I know that God loves me, and I know my husband loves me, and I don't feel the need to cover my face up, you know, but if if, if it does make you feel better, then, then go ahead. Don't go to an extremes with certain things. Go out there, live your life, don't be afraid of the world, but don't be a part of the world. Don't participate in sorcery. Sorcery is everywhere. It says it in the Bible, sorcery will take over at the end of times. And it's on just about every TV show. It's in all the music. It's in our cartoons for our children. It's at Harry Potter. It's at Disneyland. It's everywhere. And we are not supposed to be a part of that stuff. So please, guys, this is your final chance. This is your time to repent and get right with the Lord and to worship him and to help other people and to spread kindness without judgment. Don't yell at each other. Love one another because what's left of this world can still be beautiful no matter what the elite's agenda is. So I will fight for you guys in healthcare. I will fight for you guys uh, with prayer. And I will, uh, I will always be telling you guys, love conquers everything. And love comes from Jesus Christ. If he died for you, you can make some sacrifices in this generation. Okay, so God bless all of you. Stay safe. Stay strong. If you're going to go out, if you're going to go back to work, good for you. Just make sure you're doing things that are safe. Wash your hands, wear a mask, and if you're not feeling good, stay home. And you know what, guys? If you get sick, there are a lot of us here, a lot of healthcare workers. We are fighting for you guys, okay? And we will make sure that we do everything we can to help you. But uh, this is the final hour. Things will never be the same. Please repent to the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you don't know him, get to know him. Study. And if you still feel like you don't know him, well, at least you studied. And at least you weren't lazy. And at least you put yourself out there. Okay? And there's a lot of false gods. There's a lot of false religions. And that's just the devil trying to screw, screw with your mind, guys. So God be with all of you. My heart and soul goes out to everyone. Christians are good people, okay? Some can be a little judgmental, but those are things that they need to work on, okay? We love everyone, and we just want to help as many people as possible. We are sinners too, so we cannot judge other sinners. We just want to help you guys get to the to get to Lord Jesus Christ in heaven. That's where we want you guys to go. And if you think it's so easy to just walk into heaven. It's not. You have to work for it, guys. It's not easy. It's hard work. And it all comes down to the love you have for Jesus Christ and, and the love that you have for the Father. And just looking at God's creation, looking at his trees, looking at his plants, looking at his animals, looking at at your children, looking at your an, your your cats, your dogs, you know, God created everything. It didn't pop out of, of thin air, guys. Please use common sense when you hear um, atheists come up with all kinds of weird, uh, <laughs> weird things. Just like at this house that I live in, it didn't get built by itself. 
okay people came they built this house so that i could live in it it's the same thing god built a world for you to live in repent now is the time repent get right with the lord and if you do have a drug addiction please get right with the lord jesus christ he will help you get out of the drug addiction i promise so don't fear don't get scared you can do it if i can do it anyone can do it okay trust me on that and if it's not drugs and it's something else porn uh, whatever the case may be trust me god will help you through it but you got to meet him halfway you got to meet him halfway read that gospel guys i love you god bless and be safe